fake news. She's, she's out there saying that Bernie Sanders can't unite the party. That's fake news. She's out there saying, what else is she saying? I don't even know anymore what she's saying. She goes out Harvey Weinstein was misunderstood. That's also what she's saying. Jeffrey Epstein had a marvelous mind. It's well, so Brent, you Some of the girls on the island liked Bernie, I'll give you that. They're always like, can I have my passport back? Do you like Bernie? I was like, shut up, shut up. Jeffrey, get your staff under control. <laughs> Not that one. Are you sure? So that's a great one. So Bernie did over 30 events for her. I, I more than that. More than that. I actually put together a video. I posted it on Twitter. I found footage from every single event that Bernie did for Hillary. It's over 40. And there's a list out there that basically details all these events. And I found video from events that weren't even on this list. So, I mean, the guy went over and beyond. I mean, I don't know what else he wanted, she wanted him to do for her. I mean, really, what else could have he have done? I mean, this would be like you campaigning for patrons for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Patreon.com slash Matt Binder. Yes. For real. No. It's a really important show. Woo! Uh, yeah. Woo! Okay. So let's, let's bring up some of these stuff now that we're talking about Bernie. Then wait, wait. Can we just real, real quick. Guess who came in today to try to get on some of this, like, hating luster? who I legitimately did not remember who he was, and the first thing I thought of was The Wire. Fucking Martin O'Malley? <laughs> what? Martin O'Malley. I, I, would, I don't know who you are. I yeah. vaguely remember police brutality in Baltimore. <laughs> I don't know anything else. I mean, I literally know him uh, mostly as the guy in the Vic Burger video taking <laughs> off his jacket, going, going, MartinO'Malley.com. MartinO'Malley.com. Please watch that video, it's fantastic. All right, so more, but what are we gonna say? Go ahead. All right, so basically there's a whole conspiracy theory, uh, you know, a whole market for conspiracy theories out there online, basically trafficking in anti-Bernie Sanders bullshit. And you've probably seen some, seen some of these people. There's someone named like Mendoza out there, who, you know, who, who, this is amazing. This is someone who's got like a few thousand followers, but literally everyone in this room knows who this person is. Like, what is going on here? Like, because she gets retweeted by big accounts. Like, be, I just want to be really clear too, because some people in this room are not like super online, and that's great, and I envy you, and I wish. But this, these narratives, some of them really do get, so there are people that you say like, oh, like, Wine Dad 39, who fucking, like, is both, like, some, has some type of very highly bizarre relationship with fetishizing black people and says unintentionally anti Semitic things about Bernie all the time and loves all of the worst Democrats on earth. Okay, whatever, fuck him. And then, Rachel Maddow or somebody is just like, Wine Dad 39. <laughs> so the important point. So these things actually are getting processed through other media that you are aware of, even if you're not wasting time on Twitter, which should be abolished after we take over. So, you know, I want to run through some of these crazy Bernie San anti-Bernie Sanders conspiracy theories. You've probably seen this one, it is insane. It is that Bernie Sanders apparently was a deadbeat dad. Because we all know- Sorry, can't play baseball. <laughs> Sorry, I won't make the game. There's an anti <laughs> well, you know, you know, you know he's spent his policies. I want Medicare for all, I want free college tuition, and I want to make sure that single dads get custody of their children. Excuse me, you misheard. Not custody and a tax subsidy for not paying child support. But, you know, it's... <laughs> Willow, sorry, I have some bad news. Very important peace protest that dad's gonna need to vote for the next 10 why, months. Why, why is your Bernie Sanders mixed with Hollywood Hulk Hogan? <laughs> I don't know how Hulk Hogan sounds, but it sounds like a good hybrid. He's winning. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> what you want to do when Bernie Mania runs wild on you? I do refer to my son as brother, so he does not feel so close to me as a father. <laughs> I am, we call him Dad B. Dad. I love 
no, no, this person put out. Actually, I'm actually afraid of doing the Bernie Sanders Hulk Hogan connection because the next thing you know, they're going to be saying that there's a video of Bernie Sanders out there saying, I watched the Hulk Hogan tape and I loved it. It was great. It was expressing a working class rage. <laughs> so, so, with black, so, with this person, as well, that, and that's the other, actually, the other thing I wanted to hit on in the last couple of minutes, right, was when Bernie. These people also attacked Bernie for like, okay, he was not a dead dad that was alive. He was somebody who was like not rich and putting his life together, that's, which fucking repulsive to the electorate. That's another thing they attacked him for, the thing where he didn't have a job until he was 40 years old. Like Bernie Sanders was walking around in Vermont, like eating whatever he could find on the floor. <laughs> Like, you want to know why the young people connect with Bernie Sanders? What the Bur what Bernie Sanders was doing until he was 40 years old? He was taking part in the gig economy. Woo! There was no Uber or Lyft. There was no DoorDash. But Bernie Sanders was doing carpentry. He was out there doing repairs. He was out there teaching at schools, taking any odd job he could. What's the difference between Bernie Sanders doing that and people under the age of 40 today going on Craigslist and taking a gig? I mean, it's the same thing. I know the people out there who have asked for me to do that are attacking each and every one of you who make a living doing freelance work, every one of you who's out there driving an Uber, who's delivering food. That is what they're attacking.